Welcome to Attitude Baba. Let's talk about Gyani Zail Singh. Gyani Zail Singh was the seventh president of India, serving from 1982 to 1987. Prior to his presidency, he was a politician with the Indian National Congress Party and had held several ministerial posts in the Union Cabinet, including that of Home Minister. He also served as the Secretary General of the Non-Aligned Movement from 1983 to 1986. His presidency was marked by Operation Blue Star, the assassination of Indira Gandhi and the 1984 anti-Sikh riots. He died of injuries in 1994 after a car accident. Early life, he was born in Sadhwan, Faridkot district on 5th May 1916 to Kisan Singh. He was named Jarnial, meaning general, but as a young man, he changed his first name to Zail after being imprisoned several times for opposing the rule of the Maharaja of Faridkot. He was a Sikh by religion, was given the title of Gyani as he was educated and learned about Guru Granth Sahib at Shahib Sikh Missionary College in Amritsar. In 1947, with the reorganization of India along secular lines, he opposed Harinder Singh Brar, ruler of Faridkot state and was incarcerated and tortured for five years. He was called on to be the revenue minister of the recently formed Patiala and East Punjab States Union under Chief Minister Gyan Singh Rerwala in 1949 and later became Minister of Agriculture in 1951. From 1956 to 1962, he was a member of the Rajya Sabha. Zail Singh was elected as a Congress Chief Minister of Punjab in 1972. He arranged massive religious gatherings, started public functions with a traditional Sikh prayer, inaugurated a highway named after Guru Gobind Singh, and named a township after the Guru's son. He created a lifelong pension scheme for the freedom fighters of the state. He repatriated the remains of Udham Singh from London, Aramans and articles belonging to Guru Gobind Singh. In 1980, Zail Singh was elected to the 7th Lok Sabha and appointed to join Indira Gandhi's cabinet as Minister of Home Affairs. In 1982, he was unanimously nominated to serve as the President President. Nonetheless, some in the media felt that the president has been had been chosen for being an Indira loyalist rather than an eminent person. If my leader had said I should pick up a broom and be a sweeper, I would have done that. She chose me to be president. Singh was quoted to have said after his election. He took the oath of office on 25. 5th July 1982. He was the first Sikh to hold the office. If you like this video, please do like, share and comment. Thank you.